one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a detailing video. Um, this is a 1995 Mustang GT in the yellow, and it's awesome. It's only 87,000 miles, but just as you get cars like this that are older, you're gonna see fading. And you can see on this how it's faded. And you'll really be able to see on this how it's faded once we get this thing done. This here, we might even paint this. Um, you'll see how that, just this kind of things here are gonna look way different when we're done with this car. Now the sides have retained a little bit more of their shine. And it's mostly just because the sun doesn't hit them as much. Um, plastic pieces are going to get more of a toll of the sun than the others. You can tell the lights are just faded like crazy. Um, buffing will take care of a lot of that. You can sand and buff, or you can sand and paint. Um, these wheels, there's a little gink in that one, but I'm not exactly happy with all the pitting and such on them. So I'm probably going to end up doing something with the wheels as well. It's a nice car. I'll show you the interior real quick. It's clean. It's just clean as can be. It's loaded. I don't know if they called them a deluxe model or whatever where they had the leather and everything, but it's got it. I'm gonna set this down for a second to where I can open this hood. And then I'll get right back to you. This is one area that's probably most neglected on cars. People don't clean their motors. That's all there is to say about it. So that's what you're dealing with. I'm gonna take a before picture of this. Um, Josh is here. This will be his first car that he's ever buffed. He's never done this before. And the whole point of this is too, is get out there and have some fun with your car. Do something to it. Clean it up. Don't be scared to tear into it. This is a scary process. You can tear the paint right off the car with this. I mean, right off the car with that. I could seriously, if for that piece right there, I could tear like 40% of the paint off that with a buffer on accident. It just will rip paint right off. But don't be scared to do it. Don't be scared. No pressure. You just screw your car up. So that's that. We're going to go here. Thanks for watching. Talk to you in a minute. All right. Here we are back at it. We've got this thing wiped down, crust scrubbed down. It looks nice. Um, you can see, I, you gotta have a happy medium between not chopping your hand off in a fan or something, getting it caught up in a belt, and keeping it running to where your electronics stay freer and the air will push the water away from the stuff that it don't need to be. I mean, it just, it does a lot better. Plus, the more heated up the motor is, the better off you are. Now, I didn't do this one a lot personally. I did a major scrub and then left Josh here and I can see like on the head and just things that I noticed from a long time that I'm going to hit up just a little bit on this thing like back there that one spot. Hey the greaser. And there's just a couple little things after you're done go over the thing look at it see what you got. I can barely get a brush back there just get a little but the power washer will blow most of that stuff way off there. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll clip more in a second. Okay, he's doing some power washing, and we power wash down. He's got the wheels, he's working on them and the uh, wheel wells and stuff, and it's going to town. Clip more in a little while here. Okay, we're scrubbing away on it now. Actually, I was out doing a U-Haul review, and he's been scrubbing away. Have you studded this side? I did. Okay, you'll see you'll be able to tell if you need to get it wiped off. Like, you're gonna have to keep it a little wet no matter what, because it is drying too fast. All right. um, it is totally, kinda, sorta. Like if it was this and it hadn't got sunny yet, you could probably get done with it without doing it. But as it is, you're gonna need to go maybe two panels at a time, kind of a happy medium between both. Okay. Okay, it is looking a lot better. Got it all washed up, got underneath the hood done. 
Um, Josh has got the wheels, tires, wheel wells just now. You can see they look good. But look at those wheels. They just It's sad. The pitting and stuff in them doesn't do justice with this car. Now, I like chrome on a car. And that's where I'm having a really hard time deciding what I want to do on this. Because I like the chrome better than the, the graphite gray magnesium look. But if the graphite gray magnesium look is nice and new and pristine and the chrome is crappy and old and messed up, well, that might be the deciding factor. He actually pinstriped his Mustang back here with some of a darker yellow. Nice car, you can really see the fading in different spots, but you won't be seeing it by this afternoon. Back in a little while with more. The day is rolling on, Colin is out of here with the U-Haul, and we are going to town on the Mustang. Um, Josh here is working right along, man. He seems to catch on and know what he's doing and follow direction and do it to it. I've had lots of help that hasn't been able to do that. And it has been nice. Yesterday, sucker kept grabbing things out of the truck before we could even get back, and that's cool. Somebody who thinks on their own is definitely neat for the detailing thing that I've had been had from going on here at my place. Just not enough help. Colin has really helped out the past week. He's heading back to Canada with the Seville. It will be for sale. If you're on the way to Canada, in other words, if you're somewhere in between, free shipping. That's right. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll be clipping more in a minute. Okay, so I was doing things out here with Josh this morning, and actually Colin's buffing on it now. I don't think we're waiting for Josh. We got, we got buffage. You can see where this bra was on. I took the bra off this morning. Um, it's gonna come out pretty yellow. Pretty, pretty yeller. Okay, well, just a little update. That's that. That pad's totally dry too, I just remember that. But yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay, back on the Mustang, Colin is buffing away. And actually, we've switched gears a bit here. And look at what this is doing. I'll show you this first. This is a W114, W115 Mercedes bumper. Um, I'm not the best on it, but I know it's 68 to 73 at least. This is what it looks like after Little Mothers. Now you've got slight chromage, I guess I'll call it, like chrome gets. But other than that, absolutely beautiful bumper. Chrome is the biggest mommy's boy around. You get a Little Mothers around it and it just shines right up. Yeah, that's looking nice. A little hard. It's a little easier to buff in the morning there without the. The best, the best man can get. 